Days after China showcased a variety of indigenous developed military drones during this year, its all-weather ally Pakistan followed suit by presenting its homegrown combat drones at the 11th edition of its arm exhibition, the International Defense Exhibition and Seminar. The arm exhibition was held at the southern port city of Karachi between November 15 to 18. It showcased some of the advancements made by Pakistan's defense industry in unmanned combat aerial vehicles that play an increasingly important role in warfare as demonstrated in the ongoing Ukrainian war. Pakistan became aware of the role of combat drones in the 21st century for the first time when the US drones began conducting strikes against terrorists in Afghanistan and border areas of Pakistan. Soon, Pakistan started the development of drones for surveillance and attack purposes and went on to become the fourth country in the world after US, UK and Israel to have successfully deployed a UCAV in the active operation in 2015 that eliminated three high-profile TTP in North Waziristan and Shawat Valley. The Shapar 2 medium altitude long endurance mail drone produced by Global Industrial and Defense Solution, a Pakistani state owned defense company, and it is the country's largest defense manufacturer. The Shapar 2 is an improvement of the Shapar 1 drone commissioned into the Pakistani Army and Air Force in November 2013 for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions and assistance in disaster management. The Shapar 2 is attack capable and can fly up to 1000 km to hit its target. It locks onto its target with a laser and then strike it with a missile. The drone can fly at a maximum speed of 222 km per hour. Its takeoff speed ranges roughly between 148 to 158 km per hour. Similar to its cruising speed, its maximum range is around 1000 km and the data link range is 300 km. And the good news is that this drone is fully indigenous. When you assemble a technology or acquire it from another country, and after a few days that country stops giving you the technology, your product remains incomplete and you cannot use it yourself, nor can it be recovered. So the basic technology of this drone has been made in Pakistan itself. Now, talking about Ababi drones, apart from GIDS Shapar, Pakistan Ordnance Factory has also made a surveillance drone named Ababil. The attack variants of the drone have also been developed and were exhibited at this year. One of the variants presented at the exhibition was the MR5, which can be armed with two mortar shells, one with 16mm and the other 18mm in diameter. It can fly at a range of 30 km at 45 km per hour and it stays airborne for one and a half hours. Another variant was the Ababil V5 which has the vertical takeoff and landing ability. It is high speed drone that can fly at 120 km per hour and stay in the air for 3 hours. Its combat payload capacity is 5 kg. While Pakistan Ordnance Factory said that their Ababil series drones would soon enter service with Pakistani Army, foreign delegation also showed some interest during the exhibition. Pakistan aims to export its combat drones in addition to accomplishing self-sufficiency in developing and producing combat drones, Pakistan also aims to export them to other countries. According to Kamal, GIDS has exported its product made in Pakistan to more than 16 countries including Bangladesh, Sri Lanka and some Central Asian countries, Malaysia, Algeria, in Africa, Congo, Peru, etc. 